Right, legends, let's get straight into it. Spurs versus Fulham is rapidly approaching on Monday night. Am I scared? <laughs> Am I scared? <laughs> I'm petrified. It's been 10 long years since Fulham last picked up three points away to Tottenham. That iconic Dimitar Berbatov goal at the old White Hart Lane. And will that drought end on Monday night? Absolutely not. Stay optimistic, Harry. Come on, have a sense of belief. I just can't. There is no togetherness. There is no synergy within this squad right now. I never thought that the departure of Alexander Mitrovic would have this much of a hold and a hangover on this Fulham squad. Squad. Fulham's start to the season has been difficult to say the least. Some of the players have gone missing in those opening eight games of the season. Andreas Pereira, I'm looking at you. I don't care if you picked up an assist against Sheffield United, but those I'm, I'm speaking, people could probably thinking, I'm speaking like we're in the same position as Sheffield United, and I'm speaking as if we haven't won a single game in those opening eight games matches but three wins and the games that we've won Sheffield United Everton and Luton Everton and Luton weren't exactly convincing wins I walked out of Luton the 1-0 win and it actually felt like we lost because we played so badly a lot of these players have had a nice two-week break in the sun but it's now time to up the game a little bit up the game because if Joao Polina leaves in January we are going to need as many points on the board as humanly possible. How should Fulham set up at Spurs? I think we probably know the answer to that one. Marco Silva will put out a standard 4-3-3 situation. Do not start. This is the hot take. This is the hot take. Do not start Carlos Vinicius or Raul Jimenez. It is time for Bobby De Cordova Reed to start up top in a number nine, maybe even a false Number nine roll. You're probably thinking, Harry, you, uh, you, you've taken a massive blow to the head in the last 24 hours. Yeah, maybe. I probably had a really bad head injury when I was a kid because I'm coming out with this take. But I've discussed this with many a people off the back of the Sheffield United game. I saw the Fulhamish boys. We did a live podcast. It was fantastic. And this was one of the things that we discussed. Bobby is consistently one of our best players. Knows his way in and around the box. And when he's through on goal, he can be quite lethal. It is such a huge gamble. But where are the Fulham goals coming from? Answer me that. Where are Fulham's goals coming from? Bobby isn't going to be hugging that back line like Vinicius and Raul Jimenez. De Cordova Reed will be dropping deep, wanting to be a part of every single phase of the attack in play, and also will come back and defend as well. He will double up on the left and the right hand side as well. He will just be a roaming striker around that whole sort of attacking area, doing more than what Carlos Vinicius and Raul Jimenez do for Fulham at the moment. I think it's a no brainer. And I might actually get a few pelters for it, but I think it's a solid idea, in my humble opinion. And if you don't agree with me, then fair enough. Seven goals we've scored all season in the opening eight games in the Premier League. And Bobby Deckel david reed has two. You saw that goal that he scored against Sheffield United. It was very difficult for him to sort his body out. Great ball in by Pereira. Still needs to be dropped. I think he's our only option. I think he's our only hope until January. But knowing our luck, knowing Marco Silva... He will put Raul Jimenez up top in the hope that he will break his duck. And will it happen? Uh, probably not. Definitely not. Absolutely not. Also, start Tom Kenny over Andreas Pereira. That's what I was alluding to earlier. Did get an assist, but Kenny just he just changes the game, mate. I know he's such a good impact sub, but it's time for Tom Kenny to come back into this start on 11. Missing players on Monday night. Issa Diop will not feature for Fulham after pulling up against Sheffield United a couple of weeks ago. It's frustrating, actually, because I actually thought he was having one of the games of his life. I thought he was having one of the best games I've ever seen him play in a Fulham shirt a couple of weeks ago, but it's such a shame that he's going to be out injured. Hopefully, we will see the introduction of Calvin Bassey only getting his second Premier League start for the club. That's scary. I know we're only eight games in, you need to ease a player in, but this weird loyalty that Marco Silva has to Tim Ream, who was shocking against Chelsea. Absolutely shocking. Calvin Bassey should have been introduced a hell of a lot earlier than this. Right, some of Marco Silva's comments ahead of Monday night in his press conference today. He has said he's, actually, he's feeling quite confident that Fulham can actually beat Spurs right. OK, I understand that he mentioned it in his press conference as well about how Fulham picked up the penalty shootout winning the Carabao Cup 
over Spurs, but that's a completely different ball game. If you compare Spurs' original starting eleven in the Premier League to the one that started at Craven Cottage, it's completely different. That Spurs team that night was probably on par with Fulham's team. If Ange Postacoglu was going to put out that team every single week, Spurs would probably finish 13th or 14th in the Premier League. Listen, I love the optimism from Marco Silva, but come on now. Fulham are going to need a miracle if they want to pick up three points in North London. Picking up a draw on Monday night, I don't know about you, but it will feel like to me that that will pretty much feel like a win. Our backs will be against the wall in North London. But if we can get a point away at Spurs, happy days, mate, to be honest with you. And anything, anything more than that, if we pick up three points, absolutely sensational. That is class. That is unbelievable. I'm just using so many cliched words right now, but that would be top tier. I don't think it's going to go that way personally. But if we can get one or three points on the board, that's what happens if you win our draw. Idiot. Then I will be happy. Quick look at Spurs. I have been so impressed with how Ange Postacoglu has transformed that club. I know everyone's so bored of the Ange Postacoglu loving because he says mate a couple of times in press conferences. But he has transformed that whole football club. That whole football club. He's got Tottenham fans loving going back to the stadium once again. Long gone are the days of the depressing and boring football of Jose Mourinho and Antonio Conte. One of the things that is going to be so hard on Monday night is that defence. It is just going to be so difficult to break down. Romero and Van der Ven have been, in my opinion, I know we're only eight games in, the best centre-back pairing in the Premier League so far this season. Such solid centre-halves, mate. They're actually a joy to watch. They'll bully you and their ball recovery as well at the same time. They've got legs. Van der Ven. He must be like 99 pace on FIFA, mate. He's that good. You make a mistake, one of them fills in and recovers it. Simple as that. Van der Ven is just so good going forwards as well. I love, absolutely love a really good ball playing centre half. It's a joy to watch. He's going to be so comfortable on Monday night. His attacking capabilities are scary. The only way that I think we're going to be able to penetrate that Tottenham Hotspur defence is their high line. And if we counter-attack it, as simple as that. That's exactly what Liverpool did a couple of weeks ago. And I am not comparing Fulham and Liverpool. But the counter-attack is the only way that we're going to get them. And that high line, that's the only way that they can be exposed. If we draw out a doggy, draw out one of the centre-halves as well. And then we do a quick one-two, spray it down the wing, and we're off. We're off. As simple as that. Quick one-two, simple football tactics. It's as easy as that. That's the only way that we're going to be able to beat Tottenham. Hotspur is on the counter attack but there might actually be a different way as well because the midfield area for Tottenham Hotspur could be quite leaky on Monday this is definitely an area of the pitch where Ange Postacoglu is going to need to think heavily Basuma out through suspension Paulinia is going to have to come up against either Hoiberg or Skip or even La Celso as well who aren't going to be big matches are they like so that's that's one thing that we've got covered Harrison Reed will be able to deal with them easily if his eyes closed as well so the game could be won and lost in that midfield but it's thinking about how you're going to keep James Madison quiet because that guy can just turn a game it just it, it is scary to watch it's it's he, the guys are signing of the summer as simple as that it's Madison it's Son it's Kulisevsky that we have to keep quiet as well it's 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 a big deal we have so much to deal with, and that Spurs attacking three, and even bringing in that attacking four as well with James Madison, I worry, I really worry for the Fulham back line. If Spurs don't win this on Monday night, I will be shook. I'll be very happy. I'll be so happy because Fulham have picked up points. I'm, I'm, I hate, I hate going against Fulham and backing the other team to win, but I mean. I'm just, I'm just realistic. You know what I mean? And I, I, I hope to be proved wrong because when you back your team and you do get, if you don't back your team and you do get proved wrong, winner, winner. Do you know what I mean? So I'm sort of setting myself up knowing that we're not going to pick up three points. And that is why I'm going to say Spurs will win 3-0. Fulham aren't going to score any goals, but could Fulham cause a hiccup? I'd love to see it. And I'd love to see our season transformed there 
and then because wins like that and Spurs are unbeaten at the moment top of the table if we pick up a win away from Spurs that can really kickstart our season simple as that please remember if you're new here mates do us a massive solid subscribe to the channel and let me know your thoughts on the game in the comment section as well